Well, Lambert tells me for years she's written her own campaign materials, but this season she turned to a consultant who came up with this. The flyer depicts her council colleague, Girmai Zahalai, manipulating Lambert's political opponent, Sarah Perry, as a, quote, socialist puppet. Zahalai says this was all about using race to stoke fear. I I have hurt a lot of people, and I truly am sorry about that. And so I want to apologize sincerely. King County Council member Kathy Lambert's apology for her mailer that many people found offensive and racist came at the end of a week in which the veteran politician defended the messaging. But then she started losing endorsements, including the Seattle Times. The Seattle King County Realtors, which donated to Lambert's campaign, asked for its money back. By Friday, Attorney General Bob Ferguson had denounced Lambert. So had some of her colleagues on the council, as well as constituents. You know, really, it's an insult to her constituents to think that that is, you know, the type of messaging that would convince convince them to vote for her over her opponent. Council member Girmai Zahalai says he does not accept Lambert's apology. I don't think it's a genuine apology. As recently as this morning, if you have checked her Facebook, she was doubling down, tripling down and defending her actions, saying that she, in fact, is the victim of this whole ordeal. I wanted to try to explain what I really meant to say, um, and it only made it worse. Zahalai says the whole ordeal damages the community Lambert is supposed to serve. Right now, we are facing some of the biggest problems we've ever seen in our region, and yet we are distracted by this topic that is harmful and racist and prevents us from working collaboratively together. So there are bigger ripple effects from this than just my feelings. Lambert tells me she texted Zahalai to apologize and ask if he would meet in person. Now Lambert's challenger, Sarah Perry, is picking up endorsements. Back to you guys.